Okay, so the first video I'm going to make is what's in your wallet? Um, I really enjoyed watching hers actually, I thought it was really cool to see what she had in her purse slash wallet. So yeah, start with a quick introduction. This is my purse wallet thing. Um, I don't actually know where it's from. Basically what happened was <laughs> my friend went away before Christmas, well not away but she left sometime before Christmas and she gave me my Christmas present. I promised her I wouldn't open it. So <laughs> doing a Fiona thing I um, hid it away and then found it again when I cleared out my room about five <laughs> years later. I haven't heard from her since. <laughs> Um, so yeah, but I really like it, it's really big and it's sort of black and sleek and it's, oh, it's shiny and silky smooth. Okay, I'll start with the outside pocket. Um, I did have Dave's phone number in there, but, let's get out. Oh, um, this is a doctor's letter from my doctor saying, Miss Walker is registered as my patient. She patient. She has been recently diagnosed with type 2 di as a type 2 diabetic and regularly require, requires regular medication for this. She is prone to fluctuations in blood sugar, particularly in times of stress. Basically, um, I was finding that I was getting really stressed and my blood sugar get getting low on the lead up to my GCSE exams. So I was like, if that happens in an exam and I have a blood sugar low, I have to leave the room. I can't stay in the room and sort it. It's diff too difficult. So I'm going to, but if I leave I won't be able to go back in unless I have a doctor's note, which isn't official yet because I've not officially been diagnosed with type 2. So my doctor just wrote me a note just in case. Um, luckily I only had a, <laughs> the last like funny I had was actually on my last, well my first and last funny I had during my exams was on my last exam, my drama exam, because I was writing like this going, I have to get it done, I have to get it done, and I'd been so vigorous like with my writing I'd actually used up like my blood sugar and I was so low and I finished the paper and I was like shaking and you had to attach your performance notes to it so I, I couldn't do it when he'd fidget like oh, can you help me please please <laughs> so yeah okay that's it I've got two sections one for coppers one for everything else and then the cop coppers actually I have like a little VW camper fan money box so I put that in there and then my orange piggy bank for money I have about three, four pounds in change, and 50p's, 10p's, 20p's, a pound, five p's. Okay, so you open it up, it's got two book poppers, which is really cool, because when it's really bulky, it's just like, put it on the other popper. Open it up. Oh look, there's more! Woohoo! I just, oh I love that. Okay, so start with the first thing. My... I can't, okay. My temporary boots card that I carried, and then my real boots card, and then H&B gift card, which I got for my birthday? Yeah, from my friend Katie for my birthday, because I'm addicted to films and DVDs. I have about 85 DVDs now, and then I have seasons 1, 2, 3, 4 of Scrubs, season 1 of Ugly Betty, and then Ross Noble Randomist. Cool, I like it. Oh, okay, I have a WH Smith gift card as well, which I was given at my prom. Because basically there's six tutor groups, and um, all the tutors at the end of the year had to vote on best in tutor group, and I won mine. And I said thank you, I was like, I went up to my tutor, I was like, oh, thank you so much, it means so much to me that you chose me. And she was like, well, who else would I choose? No one else would do anything. Because <laughs> I used to volunteer for everything. Okay, my advantage card, which um, is exclusive to my district borough thing. Uh, my bank card. Oh, can't see the numbers. Oh, Coffee Republic ro loyalty card. There's a Coffee Republic in my town, and I walk past it like basically every day on my way home to the bus stop, and I keep going in there and buying coffee. I think this is about my third card addictive. And then I've got my new shakeaway one. It took me ages to finish the last one because I hardly ever go to Reading and buy a shakeaway. 
and that's a nine new one with one stamp. Shakeaway is a milkshake place, basically. And they have really random things, but it's so good. It's like, um, my favourite is Haribo Star Mix. I know that sounds really odd as a milkshake, but it's so good. And then you have, like, marshmallows on top. Oh, because the bit... Basically, the Haribo, it doesn't all get chopped up, so there's, like, chunks of chowder, cha cha Haribo at the bottom, the milkshake, and then marshmallows on top. It's so good. <laughs> and then three first-class stamps, which I'll probably be using soon. Something like that. Oh, um, this is from when we went to Germany, my little card in case they got lost and I didn't know what to do. I'd get this out and just like, say, can you help me please? Can ich bitte helfen haben? And, um, try and find my way home. Oh, Cafe Nero. I have about three of those. Two of which are on my desk with about one stamp on them. But that one has three so I keep it in my purse. Nothing. I used to have a load of train tickets. But my friend, for, his, for a competition, like, took them all. So, £20 note. It's the old £20 note, though. It's not one of the crisp new ones. Because there was another £20... There was, like, a really old £20 note. And this, this, this is, I think, the middle £20 note. And then there's the new £20 note, which is really cool. And I got really excited when I got given one. Bus tickets. Um... Receipts. Let's see what my receipts are for. DVD save. DVD a guy thing. Elastics. Hair grips. Head and hair elastics. Dorothy Perkins. Knitwear. Oh, my black V-neck jumper, which I cannot live. I went and bought another one. It's so good. Two. Three five pound vouchers for W. H. Smith. Followed on any book from over ten pounds from Monday, first of October until Sunday, fourteenth. Bum. They're not used to me anymore. Gone. Oh, my little um, first Great Western Young Persons Rail card, and it's got the Bodleian on it, which is in Oxford, which is a really faint. Oh, the Radcliffe camera. Radcliffe camera. I don't know, but it's the library in Oxford. My brother's going to kill me for saying that, because he actually goes to Oxford. Okay, I'm going to cover this, because it's a really dodgy photo. It's horrible. Yes. But yeah, my brother goes to Oxford. He started there this year, which is kind of cool. And that is my wallet. Um, don't really know what to say. Keep watching. Ciao.